Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Buildium to streamline your property management tasks and maximize your efficiency. We have a lot to cover in this video so let's get started. First you need to create your own account from here. However, I'm just going to log in my account. And I'm going to use Google. here so basically this is how your buildium will looks like will look like so here on the left menu you can see the left navigation panel which contains many tabs that we will explore one by one for the first panel which is the dashboard as you can see here it contains insights of your own uh, activity so here you can see outstanding balances and rentals, tasks, rentals, insurance, and more. So you can also prioritize some of these tabs on the other by just going to customize here and drag and drop like this. So you can arrange, with, arrange them. You can also add and remove cards from here so basically to remove any card or add any card you can just press on this red button so if it's selected it's gonna be unselected and if it's unselected it's gonna be selected so you can choose what are the tabs that you want to appear in your dashboard and once you are done you can press on save changes here next is the rentals which contains all the properties you own so here you have properties rental tenants rental rental owners and outstanding balances next is the leasing which contains all uh, the contracts that uh, you have with other customers so you have here listings applicants draft leases and leases renewal leased renewals next is associations here as you can see it contains ownership accounts ownership owners and tenants outstanding balances violations and architectural requests Next is the accounting, which contains the financial matters of your own leases and rentals. And as you can see here, it contains more than one choice and one option. Next is the maintenance. From here, you can organize and systematize, and systematize uh, maintenance for your own properties on a regular basis or one-time maintenance. It's up to you. Here, you can also set tasks. You can set incoming tasks and you can set uh, these tasks and uh, delegate them to your teammates here you can uh, access on uh, community which is provided by buildium so you can um, contact with other uh, property owners and other uh, yeah, other um, tenants and so on and so forth and here you can access files sorry i will go back here you can access files so that you can upload files from your own device here the reports you can see uh, insights of your own activity and finally in the analytics hub it offers um, in-depth metrics so, so that you can understand more about your key performance of your own activity here you can also access on add-on services which are uh, third-party apps that can help you to um, function on buildium and here is the shortcuts which will help you to um, decide what is more important and access it faster and easier. Here you can access on the help and support in case you faced any problem so that you can contact with the, with the customer service so that they will help you to uh, troubleshoot any problem. And here you can access on your settings and here you can access on your account. So now let's start by making our first rental and let's choose it property so to start your first property after loading here you can click on add property from here and now it will ask you about the information of this property so let's now choose the property type for example single family street address i will insert the street address from here city state I will choose New York.
here. You can also mention who is the, the property owner from here. You can enter his info. And here you can decide the property's primary bank account. So let's say it's rent account, for example, and the reserve is $500, for example. Now you can review the address and lease details. So you can also decide additional details like the number of rooms, number of baths, and you can add photos from here. So once you are done, you can press on create property and you are all set. Perfect. Now let's make our first uh, rent rule by pressing on this. And here you can press on add lease. And now you can choose whether the signature is signed or unsigned. You can decide the type of property. So let's choose the property we have just created. You can choose the lease type from here. Let's say it's fixed with rollover, the start date, the end date. So it automatically makes it a year lease. You can increase it from here by choosing the year you want. You can also add a tenant or co-signer. You can choose an existing tenant from here. So let's choose one of them. Add tenant. And here it is. You can um, choose the rent cycle from here. I will leave it monthly. You can decide the amount. Let's say $500. And you can also mention if there is any security deposit and choose the due date. So let's say another $500. You can also add additional charges from here and you can upload files here. Now this resident resident center welcome email is an automatic mail which is sent to your uh, tenant once he signs the contract. So you can enable or disable this welcome automatic mail from here and once you are done you can press on save and you are all set. Perfect. Now, once you are all done, you can access your rentals from here, properties or rental. One second, I have an issue. Here, so you can choose any of your properties from here. You can access on it by just clicking. Sorry. And once you are here, you can choose to edit any of this information. You can also inactivate it from here. So this is pretty simple and pretty basic. So if I want to add or edit anything here, I can just go to the tab like rental owners and I press on edit and I edit whatever I want. And finally, by going to um, accounting and financials here, You can decide the property or company you want. So I will choose all. You can choose any specific one and you can also change the period from here. And once you are done searching on it, you will find all the details here in front of you. So this is how you can easily use Buildium. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.